Hello, young lad. My name is Melville Dewey, and I have a secret. I love decimals. I know you will love them, too. Come on, let's explore decimal notation. Well, don't just sit there. Come on. Let's start with writing decimals as fractions. To do this, you want to write the fraction that you say when you read the decimal. However, the key is to read the decimal using proper mathematical language. For example, to read this decimal here, I would say 7 and 5 tenths. But that's exactly how I would write the fraction, 7 and 5 tenths. So if you think about it, as you've been reading decimals, you've been saying the fraction this entire time. Whoa! Let's look at writing fractions as decimals now. We can do the same thing. Write the decimal that you say when you read the fraction. For example, 5 and 3 tenths is how I would read this fraction. And to write the decimal, I have the whole number of 5 and 3 in the tenths place. Hence, 5 and 3 tenths. Now let's check out how to find fractions and decimals on the number line. First, we need to find the scale of the number line, then identify where the point is. This first number line starts at 20 hundredths and ends at 30 hundredths, spanning 10 values. That means each mark on the number line is worth 1 one hundredth. So our point is on 24 hundredths. The second number line starts at 5 and ends at 6, spanning 10 values. That means each mark is worth 1 tenth. Since the point is seven marks past the five, it would be five and seven tenths. Let's try some word problems now. The length of a wooden board is nine tenths of a meter. Which number correctly shows the length of the wooden board as a decimal? Well, I read that as nine tenths, so I'm looking for the decimal that is also read as nine tenths. That would be a nine in the tenth spot. That would be this one. Which decimal best represents the location of point P on the number line? Well, since our number line goes from 60 hundredths to 70 hundredths, spanning 10 values, that would mean that our scale is 1 one hundredth, making our point 61 hundredths. Now that I have the fraction, I need the decimal. Which answer choice is read 61 hundredths? That would be the number 61 ending in the hundredths place. That would be this answer. All right, kiddo, I think you are ready to take on the world of decimal notation. Enjoy.